I know there's the uh, ATS-20, is it? And there's the ATS-25, but this is the ATS-25+. Plus. And I hadn't seen anybody else mention this on YouTube. And um, I'm not even sure that there's a huge difference. Um, but it may be in the menu. Um, one thing this does have is scan. And I hadn't seen this on the other ones. So forgive me if I've overlooked it. Um, but I thought it was quite useful. Especially when you're on the 20 metre band. Which is about a ham's hang around. About 8pm. Uh, well here in uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Anyway that's the sort of time of day. But it's quite useful to have it. I mean I think some of the. Uh, I think the previous model had. Uh, seek. You know you got up and down. But this has got scan. Uh, which I quite liked. Um you've got memo so you can store stuff uh here's a bit about the chip but i think this is common to them all um if you wanted to freeze frame that and all the info well that's basically what it's tuned to at the moment isn't it um forgive me because i'm not uh, i'm not a I'm not an expert on shortwave, but I can find my way around this okay. What I did find was the FM is extraordinarily good, very good quality on FM. Um, so if we go back and go to the main menu, right, so I'll press handband. There's your handband. Buttons slightly different, do you think? I think they are. It may be a cosmetic change. Very hard to say. So if you've got any questions, do ask below in the comments. And uh, then I'll know. Um, and then you've got all these other bands. But one of the things I did like about this, um, if we go next, there had always been a sort of retro feature for FM. Uh, that one. But then you go in here, you've got the kind of traditional shortwave bands that you'd find on a, I don't know, a valve or transistor shortwave set, which I rather liked, uh, because unlike the handband listing and uh, the other bands, which have a very limited frequency range, I've mentioned, you know, well, other people have mentioned it, rather, and um, that that was somewhat limiting, but at least with this one, if you pick, say, shortwave one, you can just tune along like you would on a normal radio set. And it doesn't appear, well, not too noticeably, to chuff, you know, where it mutes it as you're clicking through, which is pretty good. Let's um, bring the volume up a bit. I'll go to bend. I don't know. Let's try mostly night. I <laughs> don't know if that's useful or not. Uh, I've actually got a long wire hooked up to this. I haven't got some huge aerial on the roof. Um, but I love the fact that you can tune right through this. Yeah, I suppose it is muting a little bit. Uh, right, what else can I take you through? The... Um, get in the corner. If we go to setup. Uh, these are the various options in setup. If you look at each screen. Those retro language uh, Russian, I would presume. Um, there was something very useful because it wasn't on by default, and that was battery show. So you could see how much battery life you've got in it. Now, yesterday I took this into work and ran it for eight hours. And uh, I've done another hour today, and look, it's only 83% 80, used on the battery. So I don't know if they've put a bigger battery in it, or um, or I'm just not taxing it enough. Uh, but yeah, it seems to hold the battery life pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure what... I've never figured out what a light does. Oh, maybe you have... Well, what does that affect? A mystery. Um, yeah. So, if I go into memo, 
I've got Radio 4, which is BBC World Service as well at times of the night. Hopefully I'll get some more stored. So, I don't know if you can see the differences between the um, AT25 and the AT25 Plus. May just be a cosmetic thing. You've got your AGC, you've got your attenuation, um, you know, the ability to input your own frequency. Uh, I always find those a bit difficult, to be honest. Anyway, uh, that's the ATS25 plus <laughs> so make of it what you will but i'd um, seen lots of the a ats 25s about and this is what arrived at the ats 25 plus um i think if i uh right if i turn this off and then on again right you'll need to freeze frame this Right, so you've got that, but you also, if we go next, I think it's info. Do it again. See that right at the top, that top line. Uh, software version 3.4, 24th of the 11th, 2021. So well, within recent time, less than six months, isn't it? Just about. And it's the bins mod. Uh, so perhaps it's just a cosmetic change. Uh, the, the other thing I found about this is the touch screen is very good. I don't so I don't have any problems pressing that. And I've actually still got the film still on the screen. I've yet to take it off. But you obviously have to unscrew the front to peel it off properly. Uh, but I've left it on for now. And... Uh, I so say I found the touchscreen very responsive. So whether they improved that in the mod or in the hardware, I don't know. But anyway, that is the ATS25 Plus. And uh, make of it what you will. Uh, glad of any comments underneath. Thank you.